What's up, Collective? It's Kev, Intuitive Kev, and I'm back to do another reading for the Collective. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully great. Spirit, we ask that you continue to guide us and protect us. We ask that you give us insight and guidance on our current situations. We ask that you lift the veil of falseness and reveal that which is hidden from us. And we thank you for your blessing, your wisdom, your power, and your work in our lives. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get into it. Empress, first card out, baby. The Nine of Swords in Reverse. The Page of Cups in Reverse. The Star in Reverse. <clears throat> the Ace of Cups in Reverse. I don't like this. Already, I don't like it. The Hanged Man. Six of Swords. The Hermit. The Fool. And the Lovers in Reverse. Oh, we. So, I mean, right off back, it's a lot of like. Well, I mean, we just go get into it. We'll see. I feel like there's like a lot of disappointment. But, um, yeah, once again, we have the Empress first card out, you know. I mean, need I say more? <laughs> it's the Empress. Um, the Empress is clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. What'd I tell y'all? Told you. <laughs> Empress, baby. Eight of Swords. And the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so there's somebody in Empress Energy. If you're in Empress Energy or you've been resonating with uh, the Empress, um, karma is like working for you right now. You know, uh, you might be experiencing like an upswing, you know, of good luck. Like things are just going in your favor. They're working out right now. And you deserve it. Real, uh, the real fortune it has turned in your favor. Um, and I feel like, you know, maybe like you're you doing well somehow as adversely affecting somebody else. Somebody else is trapped. Ada Source talks about being trapped. It could be like a mental prison. It could be actual jail. Um, but uh, this person talk or this card talks about, you know, uh, you know, being unable to move forward, unable to move. You know, and not being blinded and bound to something. Um, and that, that uh, the person that feels that way is this uh, this King of Wands in reverse. King of Wands is, you know, he's passionate. He is uh, ambitious. He's driven. But in reverse, this is like, to be honest, it's like a man whore. You know, this person carries a very lustful energy. He may be sexual, sexually attractive or, you know, good looking. Um... But yeah, he's in reverse. So it's just like, he carries a lustful energy. Uh, that person can be impulsive. You know, do things and then do things without thinking about them. You know? Um, then we have the Nine of Swords. You know, the Nine of Swords talks about uh, mental anguish. You know, uh, having anxiety, sleepless nights, depression. It's in reverse. So somebody wants to come out of that energy. And that card is clarified by the Chariot. The Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Two of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, if you're, like I said, if you're an Empress energy, this is currently, these are people in your energy. This King of Wands in reverse and this Queen of Wands in reverse. These are people that are in your energy. You may or may not be dealing with them on a regular basis, but they're in your energy. Um... Queen of Wands in reverse, you know, that's a lustful woman, a very loose woman. Could be a prostitute. And not to, like, um, respectfully, not to crochet, you know, I mean, it could literally be a prostitute. Um, but somebody here has forward movement, and I think it's the, that masculine there, this karmic masculine, uh, King of Wands in reverse. You know, he's coming out of that, you know, that mindset 
or that state of being in mental pain and having anxiety and he he has forward movement you know to move elsewhere or to move out of that situation i'm assuming um yeah that situation was involving you know a karmic feminine uh queen of wands in reverse you know like i said a loose a loose or lustful woman um that situation between those two was completely imbalanced um yeah then we have the page of cups in reverse that's clarified by innocence in reverse seven of wands and negativity yeah that's pulling from this 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 feminine uh this is queen of wands in reverse this feels like her energy um you know she uh <laughs> this person, you know, they, they play, they carry themselves like they're, you know, a, a righteous person. They do the right thing. They have integrity. They have morals, values. This card came out in reverse. They do not. They're not innocent. They carry themselves like they're innocent. Um, but this person is not innocent. Um, yeah, this person is a negative Nancy. Constantly a negative energy, you know, not a joy to be around. Um, I get the end, like this person, whoever this is, it's a feminine energy, male or female. This person makes people uncomfortable, whether they know it or not. And somebody feels the need to defend themselves. The Seven of, uh, the Seven of Wands, you know, this talks about defending yourself, standing your ground, setting boundaries, and sticking to them. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like somebody feels the need to, de to defend themselves. It could be you, Empress, um, you know, setting boundaries and, you know, not letting people cross them. Um, I feel like it could also be this masculine energy setting boundaries from this negative Nancy, this Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, that energy in itself is definitely, you know, it's an energy I would move away from as well. Um, star in reverse. You know, the star talks about faith, hope, or wish fulfillment. When it's in reverse, you know, there's a lack of faith, a lack of hope, and, you know, uh, a lack of wish fulfillment. Somebody didn't get what they wanted. Uh, the star in reverse is clarified by Five of Swords. The sun in reverse. And Three of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, you know, I feel like there's a lot of details to this situation. Unfortunately, like I said, I'm not psychic. I'm just intuitive. So I can't, uh, I can't, you know, tell exactly what it is. This was a situation in which uh, I feel like the, the only person that was enlightened or woke in this situation was the Empress. So with the sun in reverse here, you know, um... You know, there were some, the, these other two people involved, they really did not understand the situation. Like, they didn't understand the gravity of, you know, the other person involved, maybe, or, you know, the consequences and repercussions of their actions, maybe. Um, I really feel, I get the energy of, like, people who didn't, they don't, they don't really have, they have, like, a twisted belief system, so they didn't necessarily believe in, like, karma, or, like, what goes around comes around or you know god sees everything you know th these people don't believe in that type of stuff they don't believe in god anyway um but yeah they were they were not illuminated you know they were not enlightened or you know exactly sure of what type of situation they were getting themselves in somebody ended up you know feeling defeated you know having to surrender to whatever this was and it, it was a third party situation you know between this king and queen of wands, both in lustful energy, because they're in reverse, and the emperors. And uh, the this, this situation for the, for this energy that I'm pulling from right now, you know, they were denied. They wanted a passionate new beginning in love. This person got denied that. Um, the ace of cups is clarified by knight of swords in reverse. 
Four of Cups in reverse. And Secrets. Yeah, um, you know, somebody was denied a passionate new beginning in love. And, um, you know, this person probably tried to come in fast. You know, the Nine of, uh, the Knight of Swords is a fast-moving energy. This person is coming in really quick to express something or share something or tell you something. Um, you know, this person probably came in fast trying to express something to you, and you rejected them. Like, no, I'm good. No, we don't need to talk. I don't need closure. I'm good. Um, and yeah, that person felt rejected. But you know, intuitively, you probably knew that this person was keeping secrets. This person is keeping secrets. You know, your spirit guides, you've been listening to, you know, spirit and your guides and your ancestors, whoever guided you away from this person. And uh, yeah, they still have secrets, you know? That card is not in the reverse. So those, these, you, there's still some, some things that you don't know. Um, but that masculine energy, Maybe even the karmic feminine too. This uh, Queen of Wands in reverse. Somebody's feeling stuck. You know, with the hangman. Uh, well, it's not in reverse. The hangman talks about uh, being stuck, um, letting go, and acceptance. You know, so it's a situation where, you know, yeah, somebody definitely had to let go. Uh, maybe a couple people. Um, the hangman is clarified by the most high in reverse. Three of swords in reverse. And the four of pentacles in reverse. So we have the hangman, the most high in reverse, uh, three of swords in reverse, and the four of pentacles in reverse. Somebody is stuck. You know, they're at a standstill, really unable to move either way. Um, you know, because they were coming from a bad place. The most high in reverse talks about anything. It's the opposite of godly. It's the opposite of divine or angelic. So, uh, yeah, this person stuck because they were they they had loyalty to the wrong thing, the wrong people, and ultimately that broke this person's heart. Whatever the situation was, this person got hurt. They're coming out of that energy, you know. But yeah, uh, they were holding on really, really tight, you know, not wanting something to end. And with this card in reverse. They had to let it go. You gotta let it go. Can't hold on. Um, moving on. Six of Swords. Talks about moving on, moving forward. Moving from rough waters to calm waters. The Six of Swords is clarified by false person in reverse. How did it come out? Okay, so it's right there. Twin Flame. It came out in the upright. I had to check. I had double check. Yeah. It came out in the upright. And Mr. Nice Guy, the King of Cups in reverse. <sighs> yeah, somebody's having to move forward with the Six of Swords here. I think, you know, if this is whoever, whatever energy this is that's, that's moving forward, moving from rough waters to calm waters, there was a false person revealed to you. You know, this is somebody that pretended to be somebody they were not. Might have sold you dreams, might have just gave you a totally different impression of what was actually true. This is in reverse. So that person's been revealed to you, their, real, their, their true self. Um, this could have been your twin flame. Like I said, I checked, this came out in the upright. So this could be your twin flame. Um, if it is your twin flame, this person is in King of, King of Cups in reverse energy. King of Cups is loving, sweet, affectionate, you know, a great guy. Um, in reverse, this guy is jealous, insecure, temperamental. Uh, he throws tantrums, spiteful, vengeful. Um, yeah. And that's the thing about those twin flame journeys. Like I'm saying, I know a lot of you guys are on twin flame journeys. I, I have a twin flame, you know, um, the journey was cut short because there is a lot of, you know, emotional and mental and spiritual, you know, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? It's taxing. It's, you know, it's stressful. Um, you know, there's, it never seems to be an, an even or equal dynamic in that connection. So, I mean, if, if you are in swim plane, you know, uh, 
This came out in the upright. That is your twin flame. But you guys, do some research. I've said it before. Do some research on those twin flame connections because they are not for everybody. You know, just because that person is your twin flame does not mean you guys are supposed to be together. You have to be together. You are always going to be drawn to them. You're always going to have those feelings and those emotions toward this person in some, you know, in some way, shape, or form. Um, because technically, a twin flame is a soul tie. You know, you guys share a soul. You guys have followed each other from lifetime to lifetime, you know? And then that's, you know, when I started thinking about it that way, I'm like, well, we follow each other from lifetime to lifetime, and, you know, we still can't get right. Like, we still can't meet, you know? Then maybe it just wasn't supposed to happen, you know? Um, but yeah, that twin, just because that person's your twin does not mean you guys have to be together. You know, you have more than one soulmate. You only have one twin, true. But you know, if that person's making your life a living hell, screw this twin flame journey. Who will I mean, why would you, you know, do that? Um, yeah, I feel like this person, you know, coming out of whatever situation that was, that karmic situation with, uh, you know, uh, that Queen of Wands in reverse, you know, they switched it up. They're King of Cups. You know, they went from, you know, King of Wands in reverse to King of Cups in reverse. Still, it's still not a safe bet, either one. So, um, somebody's in Hermit energy. Um, the Hermit, you know, he's reflective. He or she is reflective. They take time to really think about things. Generally, they like to be alone, you know. Um, you know, the Hermit is an investigator. They're doing some thinking, trying to figure some stuff out. Uh, protecting themselves. Um, the Hierophant in reverse. You got the Hierophant in reverse clarifying the Hermit. As well as King of Pentacles. And Strength in reverse. So yeah, I think, um, you know, this person, this King of Cups in reverse, you know, he may be in Hermit mode right now, kind of spending some time alone. You know, um, if this is the divine masculine and he has, you know, separated from this karmic energy, I feel like he's trying to figure out how to get back into this Empress's good graces. Because when I when I look at that Kermit, the Hermit card, when I pulled it, that's the energy I feel. Somebody that is, you know, spending some time alone, very reflective, but this person is... Uh, He's thinking about his divine partner. He's thinking about, you know, that empress up there. She's the only one in the upright. <laughs> All these other energies are reversed. So, yeah, he's probably thinking about that empress. And, you know, might be making some changes that need to be made. Because, I mean, we got king of pentacles in reverse or uh, in the upright. You know, so this is somebody very money-oriented, um, you know, driven. Uh, could be successful, but, you know, they're, they're concerned with material wealth and material success. Um... Yeah, Hierophant in reverse. I don't know if that karmic energy, the Queen of Wands, was like his wife. Maybe they had a high-level commitment, some type of contract or something. Um, maybe she was just crazy and, you know, bound him to her, which is, you know, symbolic of a, a marriage. And it didn't work out with the Hierophant in reverse. It wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't of God. It was, not, you know, not divine. Um, he may be, you know, King of Pentacles in the upright, but he is still lacking strength and courage to really face, you know, the consequences and the karma and the gravity of, you know, his actions. You know, I get the energy of somebody that he knows that he has made a lot of mistakes and he knows that he hasn't paid all of his karmic debt, but he's just, he would rather like, you know, just sweep it under a rug and cross that bridge when he gets to it. Um, the Fool. Uh, the Fool talks about, you know, taking a leap of faith. You know, walking by uh, faith and not by sight. That's why, you know, she's sitting there smiling with her eyes closed. She's like, God got me. I'm good. Um, the Fool is clarified by Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Wands in reverse. And uh, Nine of Cups. You know what? That's what it is. This person, this masculine energy, he's lacking courage and strength to take that leap of faith. You know, he can't. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. 
He's lacking the strength and the courage to take this leap of faith. You know, and rather that be change his ways, actually approach this empress and decide to do right, whatever the case, whatever he's really feeling, you know, spiritually and emotionally pushed to do, he can't do it. Lacks the strength, lacks the courage. Um, this person could be facing like serious misfortune. You know, the Ten of Pentacles talks about uh, wealth and abundance. You know, it could be a financial windfall. It could be generational wealth, lots of success, an opportunity. It's in reverse. So I feel like this person is, you know, they're lacking the courage and the strength to take a leap of faith and do what they know they need to do. Um, you know, and it's uh, they're, they're going to or they have taken a really big loss with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's a huge loss. That's like, you know, bankruptcy. Or, you know, that's just missing. A, if it's a missed opportunity, it is a, a huge missed opportunity. Like, that ship has sailed, and now you got to walk. Like, you got to swim. Like, <laughs> um, with the two of wands in reverse, this person feels negative. They have a really negative outlook about their future. So, like I said, whatever. I get the energy of, like, there was a lot. He knows that he did a whole lot. And he knows, he kind of feels like he hasn't really paid his debts. He hasn't made those right, you know. That karmic debt is still there. And that's why this person feels, you know, they have a negative outlook on their future or what's next for them. Because they know, you know, you're going to reap the seeds that you have planted. You're going to harvest the seeds that you have planted. So when he thinks about what type of seeds he's been planting, yeah, he's not feeling too good about that. Um, This was a uh, uh, wish granted for somebody. Probably the, that, that karmic feminine. You know, she's probably happy that this man is feeling this way. You know? Um, yeah. Then we have the lovers in reverse. You know, the lovers talks about a choice. Um, typically a choice in love. This is in reverse. You know, so somebody, you know, could have made a, the wrong choice in love, you know? And feeling bad about it. Um... That's clarified by, oof, death. It's a permanent ending. Whether he knows it or not, whether the karmic feminine knows it or not, the empress, I'm pretty sure she knows it. If it is a permanent ending, th that empress, the one in, the, in this in this reading, who this is for, that this is resonating with, you know it's over. Because you you been made your mind up. You know, there's no, <laughs> there's no, like, I get the energy of, like, you know, you would not, even if you are entertaining this male, uh, you're, you know, you know better. I feel like, like I said, I feel like there's been a lot done and pertaining to you. I feel like there was a lot done to you. You know, you definitely were betrayed. You were hurt. And I don't feel that you were deserving of really any of it, you know, very little, if any, you know, um, and that's why this is a permanent ending. So like I said, if this is a, uh, your twin flame, you are one of the, the, you know, one of us twins who have decided, you know what? This ain't the journey for me. You know, I like peace and serenity and, you know, light, positivity and, you know, things of God. You know, so uh, it's a permanent ending. You know, in your mind, you made your mind up like, yeah, it's cool. Mm, moving right along. Yeah, somebody didn't use their intuition. You know, this is the, the high priest, high priestess card, which talks about intuition. Um, it's in reverse. So, you know, somebody did not use, you know, their intuition. And that's why it's a permanent ending. And this person's coming, whatever person that was that didn't use their intuition, made the wrong choice in love, they're coming out of this situation, the wounded warrior. This person is beat up. They have been through a lot. Emotionally, mentally, spiritually, maybe even physically, you know? Man. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is kind of like my last reading. I get the feeling of like, this is a situation where everyone involved is aware of what is happening and why it's happening. You know, like I say, I feel like this this divine feminine energy, you know, who is, she pops up in the readings, but you know, her energy is really not here. Um, it's these other people, these karmic energies that are concerned with her. Um... And like I said, you know, the Empress, uh, you already knew, you know, if you're an Empress Energy, you already, you made your mind up a long time ago. You know, uh, they say a hard, a, a hard head make a soft butt, and you learned your lessons. You know, you kept it moving. Um, 
I still think that, you know, there are others in the process of learning theirs. Um, yeah, it definitely just feels like a, 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 a chapter closed. Like there's no returning to this. Um, I feel like this person, this masculine energy is hopeful. That's what I'm saying, like spending time, this person is a hermit energy, you know, really thinking about the failed relationship or marriage that they had and, you know, probably the, the divine feminine that they lost. You know, thinking of how they can get, is there any possible way? Probably talking to God. He never prayed in his life, but he's talking to God now. <laughs> like, and let me not, I, let me not say it like that. Because I don't want to, you know, everybody should talk to God. Welcome, brother or sister, you know. But, um, yeah. That's just one of those things that irritates me. Because people always want to, you know, when they do bad stuff or they do things to hurt you or betray you, they want to make it right. You know, only to do more stuff to betray you or hurt you. And it's like, why even, you know, I get that energy here. And this Empress was just finally like, you know what? We done done this. You know, we done, we done, done this quite a few times. I, I know how this goes. Like, give me my t-shirt. Thank you. I'm out of here. Like, yeah. Let me give you some affirmations. I'm not going to do the mess deck, but I'm going to do, uh... some uh, crystal angels. I'm going to give you like three of them. I wanted to keep this read kind of short. I don't know where I'm at right now. Um, but yeah. I say it's like that same, it's, you know, same energy. It's all, the, it's been this whole three third party situation with a DM, a DF, and a karmic has been heavy. Um, and then lately, you know, in the other reads, there's been, you know, a karmic masculine which like i said my last read that he felt whoever that man was he felt like he just chose up he chose the dark side he's karmic now like he is not coming back um you know and maybe it's because he knows he can't you know what i'm saying thing is there's still secrets there's secrets there's something that you don't know that you are unaware of god probably hid it from you you're not supposed to know but you know these these people know what they did they know what they did they know that everything that, that they're going through or, go, or, or will be going through is karma. You know, it's a direct, you know, reflection and effect of act, actions they took, things that they did. Um, Crystal Angels. Dolomite, stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. I say that all the time. You're, I mean, you're, you know, being a, a divine, you know, being, whether male or female, you know, uh, your thoughts you know, are responsible for so much in your life. You know what I'm saying? Positive thinking will get you positive results a lot of the time. Negative thinking will get you negative results a lot of the time. So, you know, be mindful of, you know, where your mind is and how you're thinking. Lapis Lazali. Life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Remember that. You know, embrace the change because you know it's coming. You know you've been doing everything you need to do. You've been staying in alignment. You've been praying. You've been grateful for everything. You know it's coming. You know, and um, yeah, just remember that God is with you each step of the way. Turquoise, spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. You know, I'm sure you did after this last situation. I'm sure you did. Make a lot of changes, you know. Um, this masculine that's in hermit mode, you know, he's probably making changes right now as we speak, you know, because he's seeing how you know his his actions in the past, you know, completely screwed him. Uh, Rotochrosite, be gentle with yourself. You've been through a lot and need time to heal and recover. This could be for that masculine energy as well, you know. Could be for Empress, you know. You might still be in recovery. Um, depending on when this happened and, you know, what happened. But uh, this masculine, you know, I definitely need some time to heal and recover. Because the, the person, that karmic feminine that he was dealing with, I just get... It's, yeah. It was the most high in reverse. So, you know, instead of being of God, she was like of Satan. You know, one of his agents. Um, yeah. Mm-mm. That is certainly crazy. Oh, bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. That's this masculine. 
I don't think he there yet. You know, he's more like that right now. But uh, that man might have been an illusion, you know. With this in reverse, he's coming out of a state of delusion, illusions, and confusion. Um, I don't know. It's your twin flame. He might get right and try to come back to you. I don't know. I'm going <laughs> to cut this short. Um, I'm going to close the reading here. You know, um, it's definitely a, a, a interesting, you know, development. Um, yeah. Sorry if I see me wiping. My AC went out and I'm waiting on making to come fix it. So, yeah, I'm sweating a little bit. But, uh, um, yeah. I'm going to close the reading here. Um, as always, I want to send you guys as much love and light as I possibly can. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. Um, I love you guys very, very much. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, if, this, if this is you and your situation, I'm going to say, Empress, you know, you already on the right path. You know what you're doing. Um, you know, this masculine, he might try to catch up with you. I get that. I kind of get that energy. He might try to catch up with you, you know. And that's up to you. Use your intuition. Use your discernment. You know, don't forget the lessons that you have already learned. You know, um, talk to God. Ask for a sign. Ask for guidance. Because he's going to give it to you. Um, but yeah, I'm Kev. Intuitive Kev. And this has been another reading for The Collective. I'll see you guys later.